So the snake is like this. They make the size of an animal which they want to to kill. <coughs> like if they want to kill something like a, a bushbuck or a pala or a small antelope, they make a small round like this. Big game, like buffaloes and <coughs> kudus with the big horns and sepo, they make the big entrance like this. They come on the trunk of the tree. They make it tight, very tight. And the animal will happen to be pulling, going like this. You see? Until it's tightly caught. Mm -hmm. So it will be, it, it will start fighting because it will hear that, oh, I'm caught, but I still want to go. But as you walk, you realize that there's lots of animals here, lots of tracks. You see droppings all over, trees broken. Look carefully. If you see something, just click your finger to alert your, your partner. Because no trespassers are allowed to walk with you. Found several snares here. You see? Snares that we found for a for a buffalo, I think, very big. So now we'll try to take it down. And then there we go. And hopefully this will now become snare art, which will be much better than a snare. Can you tell us about what you've done and your experience done the old trip? So that people are really desperate for meat. We just got excited when we started finding lots of snares everywhere. I got excited because we were actually finding them. Because in the beginning I thought we were never going to find anything. It's about, uh, about uh, different types of poaching because I thought that poachers would just shoot the animals and get them, but I didn't know about these snares until today.